When I was uh, I, through the pandemic, I had to look after my uh, elderly aunt who is going through a certain disease here. She was having a cancer. So I accompanied her through her. I'm the only one who took care of her because uh, when I was little, she was taking care of me. So I was proud. I was very happy to uh, help her. So it gives me a lot of uh, self-satisfaction. So I decided to carry on my further studies in this uh, caregiving in the, uh, sector. Then I uh, followed more another course in caregiving. Then I did some training uh, also in some hospitals. Uh, so I would like to move uh, forward with this uh, caregiving field because it really heart touching and uh, it gives uh, it's like a stress relief because uh, when I was uh, doing my uh, training in the hospitals, uh, most of the elderly people thanked us so much and they praised us. They were so uh, grateful to us. They were saying, uh, you are so kind and uh, you are so helpful helpful so it gives uh, immense uh, satisfaction so i decided to go forward with this uh, quitting my uh, quite stressful corporate job yes, uh, before that i used to be a teacher so when i get older and when my uh, father and mother they when they get older i felt that i want to know about how to give my kindness to them childhood from my childhood uh, I'd like to help people and uh, actually uh, in my heart it come from my heart really I would like to help people I think this uh, this is a good opportunity to she's, uh, she's very aggressive and very doubtful she's asking always you took this my uh, things did you took my things Shall I call to police? Like that she's asking. Uh, always doubtful. And she's uh, very aggressive. She refuse to take medicines. Very patiently, I look after. And difficulty, I didn't get any difficulty because uh, it's my passion, inner passion. I love to serve my service to elders as well as children. Because uh, I was a teacher, uh, I did uh, early childhood education uh, before this uh, career. So uh, I was with children and uh, so uh, I like to give my service uh, than children to elders because uh, they need our help and I love to give my help to them. And Actually, uh, there's no such difficulty but somehow I uh, actually I came across with all the seven stages with her for the as a dementia patient so being a caregiver I don't think that I have any challenges because I love to do this because end of the day taking care because I have taken care of my own mother right she was bedridden and so that is with this experience uh, because i gave my 100 percent to her because i had the opportunity with the uh, what i have learned the experience i taken care of her because she was with me with my wife's help so uh, it was very like satisfied because i did my best to her so when you come to caregiving what i think is if, if you go abroad or for a job or whatever it is, it is a service but you have to think about your client, it is your own family member. So you have to serve with your heart, right? You have to have a passion. So this cannot be done with, with learning this and then. So, so the certain, like, you cannot stick to the books. So you have to come from your heart because so you are serving to a, a senior citizen, right? I'm um, helping people the first thing then i'm reading uh stories uh, actually i'm always a funny person i make a lot of jokes and i love to cook a lot. environment beautiful environments 
I, in my spare time, I would like to uh, cook um, nice food and share with my friends because when I, whenever I make a nice food, my, then my next uh, step is that I want to invite some of my friends and share with that food with them so that I can see them also happy. So that's what I do uh, in my leisure time. And also I like traveling and uh, mostly uh, listening to music. That's, a, that's sort of a medicine to me to see the people around me happy and smiling rest of the world so it makes me happy because if everyone else is sad and then they are not in a good mood then i can't be happy so i like to see everyone else happy so that makes me happy basically ah do you want my uh true uh, answer it? yeah always be honest in life you must always be honest yes uh, this country is difficult to live and also I'm uh, searching good opportunity for my kids. They are now 17 and 14 years. So that's why. That's so you, 